Hey folks, Michael McGee here. I have had a few people say, hey, you gotta feed Mangalitsa's acorns. Well, I've got some acorns here. I was working for some people, some real nice people. They had an absolute huge white oak tree that we were able to work underneath. They had a deck built under there and we were just able to easily sweep them up. Hauling acorns isn't no sustainable way. If you, <laughs> I've come to the conclusion, if you want your pigs to have acorns, you need to put have oak trees in their pen. My property was logged before I bought it. I don't have just an abundance of acorns. I got a few, but I ain't gonna haul them. It's just not very time efficient. But anyway, I've never given him any acorns. Now, my boys have probably slipped him one every now and then, but as far as I know, he's never sat down to a huge acorn feast like he's fixing to get. And so we're gonna give them to him right now. I'm gonna flip his pan over and dump him in there and just let him have at it. We're gonna see what he does. I have a feeling he's gonna like them but that's what we're fixing to find out. All right, Wilbur, here we go. There you go, old buddy. This guy likes his acorns. I'm telling you, he just smack, smack, smack. He loves it. I don't raise acorns, I raise corn. They tell me you shouldn't be feeding Mangalitsa's corn, but that's all I've got to feed them. But except for the fact that we got these acorns here. He is loving them, I'm telling you. Is it possible for a pig to founder? I don't know. And if they can founder, you'd think they'd founder on corn and not acorns. I, I'd say he'll be all right. Maybe I didn't give him too many. But needless to say, he's in hog heaven. Hey, don't dump them, man. Just because you get a little bored don't mean you need to dump them out on the mud. I'd say if he dumps them out in the mud, he'll pick them right back up and eat them, but I mean, I would kind of like to see him keep them clean myself, but hey, it's up to him. It's like giving somebody a gift. If they want to turn around and sell it, that's up to them. If he wants to get them in the mud, that's up to him. Now Wilbur is a Mangalitsa, that's the breed. He's a barrow, which means we castrated him. We've fattened him up to slaughter and we're just waiting for a month or so to go by till it gets good and cold weather. We're gonna get our smokehouse going. We got a great smokehouse that we can smoke some bacons or whatever else we wanna smoke. I'm afraid his hams are gonna be a little large, okay? The purpose for this pig is to provide pork. And they say that acorns make the best fat on a pig. Now, of course, this one bowl of acorns isn't gonna change his entire fat structure, no doubt. So I'm interested to see what actually his fat is like because it's actually gonna be primarily corn fat is what it's gonna be. So I will be keeping you posted on that because it's widely criticized to feed corn to Mangalitsa. So all I can do is tell you I raise corn and it's, it's not the GMO junk out there. It is open pollinated, good, white, trucker's favorite, a really good corn. So we'll see what happens. This is kind of a test run with Wilbur. But I can tell you one thing, these acorns are very substantial because he's been eating on this for quite some time and it's still not gone. He's just eating one after the next, after the next, and it's like a very, a very filling diet, what it seems like to me by watching him eat it. It's not just, he's not just scarfing it down. He, he has to take his time and eat it. I'm sure it's got a lot of carbohydrates in it. I know it has a lot of tannic acid. I don't know, you know, humans can't eat a lot of tannic acid the Indians would take them acorns and bury them on the bank of a river. And during the winter time, when the raging river would come up, it would leach all those tannins out of the acorns. Then in the spring, when it was all said and done, they would come dig them back out and they would pound them and make their acorn flour or whatnot. By the way, I've got some acorn flour that a customer gave me. I need to make something with it. But I'm not sure exactly how the pig can take all those tannins and 
and do well on them, but they do evidently. So I know wild animals like deer just love them and grow fat on them. So evidently the pig can handle a lot of tannic acid, whereas a human can't. But this is our treat to Wilbur today. Wilbur is gonna give a great big thank you to Scott and Diane. They are the ones that gave us the acorns. They allowed us to sweep them up off their deck. So a huge thank you from Wilbur. Ain't that right, Wilbur? You gonna give him a big thank you? A big thank you shout out? He ain't gonna aggravate me about petting him. He said, just let me eat my acres in peace, man. What are you doing? He says, what you doing? Reaching in and grabbing my ear. He's a very tame pig. He's got a lot of, of these seeds on his ears from the weeds. Now we, we built this big pen right here for Wilbur so that he can graze, you know. Mangalitsas are grazers and we, we give him about an acre or so here. And he has, by and large, he hasn't really torn it up that much. Whereas my other pigs down the hill have really tilled theirs up. So pretty soon I'm gonna put them over here with Wilbur and plant some, uh, some radishes and some sugar beets over there in their plot where they have completely tilled the soil up. But for now, oh, Wilbur is having himself a blast eating acorn. Rusty, you smell a rabbit over there? You smell a rabbit? What is it? You gonna come over here and see us? Come here, boy. Come here. Good boy, yeah. yeah. This is Rusty. I'm not, if you're new to the channel, he came on a few months ago to help us with our predator problem. We had a lot of chickens and ducks that were getting killed every single week. We were losing them. Since old Rusty has come to the farm, we haven't lost hardly anything. Almost zero. And we thank you, bubs. We do. He's a mixed breed of all kinds, but I tell you what, he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. He don't aggravate the pigs. He don't aggravate the chickens, the ducks. He takes care of business. Good boy. We appreciate each and every one of you. But for now, we are gonna get on out of here. You guys have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.